Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Vibrant Life Voyage channel. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic that could make a significant difference in your health, lung cancer screening and tests. If you're a smoker or have other risk factors, understanding the process and the importance of early detection is key. So, let's get started. Who should get screened? First things first, let's talk about who should consider getting screened for lung cancer. According to guidelines from the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force, individuals between the ages of 50 and 80, with a 20-pack year smoking history, and those currently smoking or who quit within the last 15 years should consider screening. A pack year is calculated by multiplying the number of cigarette packs smoked per day by the number of years a person has smoked. Apart from smoking, other risk factors include exposure to chemicals like radon, arsenic, or asbestos, a history of certain cancers, or having a family member with lung cancer. If you fall into any of these categories, it's essential to discuss screening with your doctor. How screening works Now, let's talk about the screening process. If you decide to get screened, you'll likely undergo a low-dose computed tomography, LDCT, scan. It's a quick and easy procedure that uses x-rays to create detailed images of your lungs. No special preparation is needed, and the entire process takes about 10 minutes. However, it's important to note that sometimes the results may show a false positive, indicating the possibility of cancer when it might not be the case. In such situations, additional tests may be required to confirm the diagnosis. To determine if a screening test is right for you, the American Lung Association provides a helpful quiz on its website. Diagnostic tests. If you're experiencing symptoms or if the screening suggests the presence of lung cancer, your doctor may order diagnostic tests. These tests aim to identify the type of cancer and whether it has spread to other parts of the body. Tests may include sputum cytology, imaging tests like chest x-rays and CT scans, and PET scans that use a special type of radiation to detect cancer cells. Additionally, a biopsy may be conducted to examine lung tissue and determine the specific type of cancer. Tests to check for cancer spread in your chest. If lung cancer is detected, further tests are usually conducted to determine if it has spread to nearby areas. These tests include endoscopic esophageal ultrasound, mediastinoscopy, mediastinotomy, and thoracoscopy. Understanding these screening and diagnostic procedures is crucial for early detection and effective treatment. If diagnosed with lung cancer, your doctor will discuss a treatment plan tailored to your specific situation. Remember, early detection can make a significant difference, so stay informed and take care of your health. Don't forget to reach out to your support system for emotional assistance during this challenging time. Stay healthy, stay informed, and stay tuned to Vibrant Life Voyage for more valuable insights into your well-being. Thanks for watching.